everyone. This is Rhonda Gibson with Gibson Girl Stampers. I'm laughing at myself because this is like take three of this video and I'm getting tired. <laughs> so I'm giggly. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, the reason I came on today is because I wanted to tell you about what it is like to become a demonstrator. And right now Stamping Up is doing an awesome job of helping us get people to sign on our teams. And I would love for you to become a Gibson Girl Stamper. Um, there's two types of demonstrators. There is the demonstrator that's called a hobby demonstrator and that demonstrator signs on for the 20% discount so that they can buy whatever they want and um, they get a 20% off which is great and I'm going to show you how that works here in just a minute. Then there's also the demonstrator who uh, signs on so they can have a small business or a large business depending on what their goals are. A lot of people sign on and they want to mainly just have a little bit of spending money or maybe they want to do some stuff with um, oh I don't know if you can hear that scratching my dog is outside and I think she wants in I think that's what that's about or it could be the kittens wanting in I don't know but anyway please ignore the scratching on the door <laughs> so anyway those are the two types there's the hobbyist and there's the business I'm gonna show you real quick um, what it means to be a demonstrator and what the discount looks like in real writing, okay? So I've created this handy dandy board and uh, I'm going to turn, I think, I'm going to turn this way. I don't know. I got to kind of look and see how this wor is working on the, on the thing, on the screen. Okay. Ah, I'm having trouble here. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. If you look up in, I'm opposite. If you look up in this corner here, we've got the customer. And if you're a customer and you spend $100 on Stampin' Up! products, then you pay tax of 10%, which I know that not everybody has 10% uh, taxes, but this is just a kind of a, an idea of what it could be, okay? Uh, I'm hoping you don't have 10% taxes. And then shipping, I also put it at 10% also so that you can see. Usually st shipping starts at $6.95 and uh, goes up from there. I'm not real sure how it works, but 10% pretty much does a good job of giving me a round number of $120. So that's what you pay if you're just a customer and you want to order $100, okay? Then if you're a demonstrator on this side, and I'm pointing with this finger, and you're doing $100 of Stampin' Up! product, you as a demonstrator will get 20% off. That's your discount. And so for that 20% off, 20% of 100 is $20. So we're going to take that off. That leaves us with $80 for our cost. Then your taxes is on that $80. It's on the discounted amount. It's not on the product amount. Okay? So 10% of 80 is $8. But your shipping will still be 10% of the, the, the beginning product total, which was $100. So that gives us a total down here, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm backwards, down here of $98. I'm going to have to put my head over there and look. $98, okay? Overall, your savings is $22. That's the difference between being a customer and being a demonstrator, is a $22 off. That's a $20 coupon that you get to use every time you order. Okay, that's pretty awesome. That's if you're just a hobbyist. That's just if you're doing this for a business. You save $22. That is pretty awesome great. Now, the magic number for Stampin' Up! to get rewards and things is $150. And I'm raising this up a little higher. <laughs> and I'm trying to frame it where you can see it. And guys, I'm horrible at this. I don't know what my, my deal is. I guess my camera is just giving me fits or I'm wonka do. I don't know. But anyway, let's say your product is $150. We do the 10% tax. It's $15. We do the shipping at 10%. That's another $15. Okay? That gives us a grand total of $180. Then, because you spent $15, you get Stampin' Rewards of 10%. So you get a 15 reward where you can choose anything in the catalog that you want for $15. And we have special stamp sets for our demonstrators and stuff like that, which is really, really great. Then I need to bring this this way so you can see the demonstrator side. On the demonstrator side, again, there's our $150. With our discount, we get 30% off of that. 
with a 20% discount. That makes your total $120. Then your tax, which is on the $120, is $12. Your shipping is $15 because it goes on the $150. Okay? So your total savings is the $33 down here, which, again, I'm going to kind of look over here and tell you it's the $33 over here. Your Stampin' Rewards, yes, even demonstrators still get the Stampin' Rewards. We're getting the Stampin' Rewards on the $150. So we get 15% Stampin' Rewards. That really gives us a total of $48 rewards for being a demonstrator. So you can see how this is really to your advantage to become a demonstrator. Now you may be thinking, I'm going to set this down, guys. You may think, well... Rhonda, I'm confused. If I'm a demonstrator, what does that mean? Do I have to sell a certain amount? Do I have to? I'm putting that down. I'm sorry. Do I have to sell a certain amount? Do I have to do this? Do I have to do that? Are you going to be calling me if I don't make that whatever it is? Well, let me tell you really quick what it is because <laughs> that's important. We want to know what it is, right? Okay. So the way Stampin' Up! does it, and again, I've got a little board here. This one's smaller. I might be able to maneuver it better. Uh, this one, we do quarters. So January, February, March is a quarter. April, May, and June is a quarter. So you're getting the ideal here. It goes all the way to October, November, and December is a quarter. So we have four. Four quarters. Okay. Quarterly minimums to stay active, to be an active member or a demonstrator in Stampin' Up! Your quarterly minimum is $300 before your discount. So you go in and you order $100 a month would do a $300 order, just like we were showing you all ago. If you do a $300 in a quarter, you're going to have a 60% discount. Or minus the 60% discount, I'm sorry. So you'd actually save $60 on the $300 is what we're saying. $20, $40, $60. See? Sorry, my brain just wasn't there. So your total pay before shipping and taxes is $240. That's not bad for three months, okay? And the nice thing about this, if you join in July and get that $155 for $99, Stampin' Up! gives you the rest of this quarter and the next quarter to do your first $300. Guys, that's six months. And here's another benefit of being a demonstrator. And they only do that one time. So I'll show you. See? I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget. One time only, you get to go from July to December and just do 300 in sales. That's because they want to give you an advantage to... I'm going to lay this back down because it's brought, bugging me. Um, that's because they give you an advantage, a three-month advantage. So you have plenty of time to start building your customer base if you want to do this as a, a business. Um, also, a benefit of being a demonstrator is that you get to order from the new catalogs a month ahead of everybody else. So in August, they will be coming out with the Christmas catalog for demonstrators. We get to order a month before everybody else. Everybody else will not see that Christmas catalog until September. So if you want the product early, there's something in there you just can't live without early, you get to order it. And then because the, I think it's the occasion catalog and the celebration catalogs come out in January, you're, you don't drop off until December if you haven't made your $300. So again, you would get that opportunity to order before everybody else from the occasion and the celebration catalogs. So that is a great, great fun thing to do. Trust me, I, I have enjoyed that immensely. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do is to get to go in there and get to see things a little early and pick out what I like and then show it to my friends and they get to order it and then the next month. And so it's just really kind of fun because you get to play with it a month before so that when you do present it to customers or friends, you have a better grasp on what it does. So that's a good thing. Okay, so that's another benefit. If you join my team, and uh, my hair is really bugging me because I've been outside today and I probably don't look my beautifulest, but that's okay. I don't mind. Well, I do mind. There's a piece of hair sticking up, but that's okay. Anyway, so that's one of the things. When you join with my group, uh, I, I'm real small right now. I'm still growing because this is my story. I signed on two years ago, and uh, I'm a published author, and I wrote for Harlequin's uh, Love-Inspired Historical Line. 
at that time, they decided to discontinue that line. So I was looking for something that I could do to uh, help my readers. I wanted to send them thank you cards for buying my books, and I wanted to encourage them to keep, you know, keep reading because there was two other lines in that group. So I thought, you know, maybe this is why I should join Stampin' Up! And I had joined once before. And let me tell you how it works. If, if you join Stampin' Up! and say you don't meet that $300 quota in six months, nobody says anything. You don't have to call anybody to drop. You don't have to write anybody to, to drop. Stampin' Up! just gently rolls you right off the books. Nobody gripes. Nobody complains. I don't get upset because I know what that's like. I've done it. I have said, yeah, you know, I really don't know about this. I'm, I'm suddenly getting involved in my writing. I can't do it right now. And I just gently rolled off. Nothing was said. Okay? That is wonderful. I don't know very many companies that do that. Also, as a part of my team, you will not be get, I will not ever push you to sell anything. Um, I don't like pushy salespeople and I don't try to push my team to sell. That's their choice. They can do it however they want to. It's their business. If they don't want to have it as a business, it's their choice to buy whatever product they want. So that's that. If you're part of my team, I am building a Facebook group and we will start having uh, group meetings pretty soon. I let my team know when um, Oh, let's say things are, a lot of times we have um, stamp sets and stuff that are really popular. And I let them know, if I, can, if I know before they do, which most of the time I do, I let them know and I say, hey guys, this is fixing to be back ordered. So if you want it or you know somebody that wants it, you might have them order it as soon as possible. That's about as pushy as I get. <laughs> you know, I'm just letting them know because sometimes we want something, but we don't know. Or, like recently, I let my team know when Stampin' Up! decided to put stamp sets in our clearance uh, store because that had never happened before and I wanted them to know so they could let other people know or if there was a stamp set they really wanted themselves, they could get it. So I did that. Today I sent them out a little note telling them all of the important dates that's coming out uh, regarding um, the Christmas catalog, when we can order, when we can start sending catalogs to our customers, you know, uh, all of that stuff. When the we, we will actually get to see a PDF of the catalog before we ever see a paper one. So that's pretty exciting. So I wanted them to know that. So I will be doing that. Also, when you join my team, uh, right now Stampin' Up's doing such a great job of what you get, your 155 uh product for 99 that I did, I did not do a Rhonda Gibson incentive. But what I do is I do send you a welcome to the team card and then um, every so often I send little goodies to my team members so that they'll have a little something else to play with. Uh, when we have our meetings I will be doing little prizes throughout the meeting. I do say if you're doing this for a business guys this is our goal. This is what, you know, as a team we want to do. And this is what I'm challenging you to do as an individual. And I will be sending out free gifts to people who are free product to people who actually meet their goals. So it's a place where we can visit, we can talk, we can share ideas. And we're going to be doing a lot of that. So guys, I know I just poured a lot of information at you. And the nice thing about this is you can choose with that, that $155 anything you want. If you are already stamping and you've got a few stamp sets and you've got a few ink pads, but you don't have the stamping blends and you're like, man, I'd love to have some stamping blends. You can buy as many stamping blends as you want. Stampin' Up! does not care what you do. You want the new Stamparatus that, nobody ha that you haven't been able to get because it's a little more expensive product? That can go on your on your um, order. I'm sorry, my mind just went blank. Have you ever done that? Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope that you have a great day. Um, just a quick reminder that we are not having Fun Day Sunday tomorrow. We are going to start having Fun Day Monday. So that's for everybody just to enjoy. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to private message me if you're on Facebook. If you see this on uh, YouTube, leave a comment below and I will answer you. Um, if you want to ask me or send me an email, I'm Rhonda Gibson 65 at hotmail.com. You can send me that. Do it that way. Um, my website is rondagibson.net. So you can go over there. There's a link that says Stampin' Up. And there's a place there where you can contact me there too. So I am easily available to anybody who wants to get in touch with me about Stampin' Up, about joining the team, about placing an order. Um, guys, I just want you to take advantage of this. And like I said, if you want to sign on as a hobbyist, I'm okay with that. I started out as a hobbyist and hobbyists are great people. We love to craft. So until next time, this Gibson girl is saying bye-bye. And I have to scoot up so I can see the button. And there we go.